MG FXP, welcome to my channel. So this video is about connecting your DV switch app to your All Star node. That looks something like this. Uh, I recommend the one made by D7RPG if you're in the UK. So, how are we going to do it? First thing you've got to do is log into your node. So we're going to open up a program called WinSCP. Which looks like this. Then you do need to log into it. So you would click new site. You'd put the IP address here of your all-star node, leave it at 22, then you would have a username and password. Now on mine, it's root, yeah, because you're basically going into the SD card, and then the password you set when you set up the node. If you don't know it, and it, someone else made the node for you, ask them, they'll tell you, it'll be root and something. Okay, so let's log into my one. Well, straight in there. Now, you'll probably start off at the root file. When you get to this, click ETC. Then go down to Asterix. And there's a couple of files in here we're going to change. So I've already done it. So all you need to do is double click here and just basically copy what I've done. So we're at the very top here. I'm going to scroll down, yeah, until we get to a section that says here. So we're about, what, halfway down? Example for Android iPhone. It's very important, you, this is the one you change. Now look here at these settings here. Just copy them exactly as I've done it. I'll, what I'll do, I'll put in the link, a uh, place where you could, if you need to, where you can copy and paste these. So get that in, and this is what I've done, yeah? So we'll go down through, type friend, context, IX, client, Authority, MD5, Secret, Raspberry, is, oh yeah, where it, yours will, will say something like password here, so you need to add your password here, so I just put in Raspberry. Dynamic, all, SLIN, ULaw, ADPCM, transfer now. So most of this was already there, didn't have to change much. Then just scroll down to the next part. Now make sure there's no semicolons to that. See these semicolons here? If they're there, it means these aren't going to be used. So just make sure that there's no semicolons. Add your call sign here, like so, um, and that, that's going to be your username. And I'll show you that in the app on the actual Android phone. And then once you've done that, just check this is the same as well. Again, if you need to copy and paste, I will put the links for a place where you can copy and paste all this uh, if need be. So obviously you've got to be careful. You are you should make a backup before you attempt any of this because you might um, you know make make mistakes and um, stop your all sign node from working. So once you've done that, close that and it will save. Then go to extensions comp and now scroll down to globals. Okay, so near the top globals. And the only part you're gonna need to change is this part here. So look. If you look here, uh, it's node equals 539010. So put your node number in of your actual node here. That way the app will link on the phone, will link to your node. Okay? So, uh, IAX dash client, I haven't changed any of this. I've left all this the same. I think I added one line. Uh, where was it? I think it was this one here. X10 equals forward slash or forward arrow dollar node and say digits. I think that's the only one I added on my version of uh, of, of my asterisk. But otherwise, I'll copy and paste all this. I'll, I'll put a link in the description so you can easily copy this. Just remember node and then that. Once you've done that, yeah, I'm just gonna I'll, you know just pause it, have a good look. Um, send me a message, I'll send you a copy and paste of mine if I have to. Close and save that. So once you've done that, we're going to now move over to the actual phone and and get that connected and working. Right, we're up my phone and these, these are linked now. So everything that comes through on my All Star node... You hear the echo? I'll turn that right off on the ID51, which is an analog connection to my all-star node in this house. So everything we can hear, we can hear on the on the app here. So let's let's just show you the settings that you need to do. So we'll go to account, okay? And we'll go, we'll do the top one. You know, obviously, you can have more than one, and we'll do this top one first. So we'll tap it and we'll just go through the settings. 
you can see that I can uh, turn it down a bit. There you go. So good to see the activity on Hubnet. 41522. So first thing you do is at the top, leave that at IAX2. Let's try and get this nice and close for you. Then 4569, which is the default port. Now the username is IAX client, and you saw that earlier in the in the previous part of the video. So username IAX client. Some people change it to their call sign, but I didn't because it's simply just to leave it alone as that. Password is where you change the password. So where it says pass where it says secret in the previous text, change that in front of the equals sign, change it to the password of your choice, which I've done. Then you put in your call sign. The call number doesn't really matter, that's optional. Then you've got to put in the node, your actual node number, yeah, on your all-star node. You know how to look that up on Supermon. So that's it. And once you've done that, I've selected you law at the bottom at the bottom here. Then you click save. Okay, and when you go back, you'll let's see if I don't know if that disconnected, but you hit connect and it rings. Yeah, it's on the now. It's, it's, I can hear it saying the node. Zero. So we're now connected. Now we can look at the status. It says registered. If yours says regist um, unregistered, just click registered a couple of times. It says not connected at the moment, but it was connected. Um, so let's just do that again. Save. Shouldn't have to do that. Connect in. See that? So that's it, and then it, there's the node going. The next part of the video will be how to change nodes if that's doable. I don't actually even know. I know that you can go here, down, we've got all these different things. I haven't even played with this yet, but I thought I'd do that in a future video. 7-3, thanks for watching. All the